You're listening to The Rick Howe Show, where Halifax comes to talk. News 95.7. Now, here's Rick. I hope your day is off to a great start so far today. It's at 10.06. Hi there and welcome to the second hour of our show this morning. I'm Rick Howe with you until 12.30 this afternoon. We're pleased to welcome psychic astrologer Debbie Young to our studio this morning. And if you've got a question about your health, your job, your prospects for work, your love life even, give us a call at 902-405-6000 or 1-877-801-8255. We'll need your time of birth if you can remember it, and we'll need definitely your date of birth along with your question. So give us a call. Again, 902-405-6000 or 1-877-801-8255. Good morning, Debbie Young. Good morning, Rick. How are you doing this morning? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. And uh, ready for another busy hour? I am. This is a nice little workout. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> they, they keep you on your feet, you do. So but give us a, a quick uh, uh, explanation of how you do this. Well, um, it's it's astrology is a vast, complex uh, tradition. It goes back since we've had Sky. And it's, um, you know, it's the premise, the basic premise is that um, we're influenced by planetary um movements and that it's kind of like a complex car, uh, clock in a sense that um, wherever the planets are positioned um, it influences the moment that we're born and we're part of this kind of spiritual history this cosmic uh, history and um, yeah all right you've been yeah. doing this a long time I've been doing this a long time um, it's a uh, yeah really long time and it's a uh, you know it's fascinating it's uh, astrology has um, certainly made some massive inroads the last number of years part of it is is due to the you know evolution revolution of astrology of uh, computer programs rather yeah, yeah. Um, that it frees us up to do other things to explore different things and it's um, you know it's really everything you can see anything from astrology in terms of psychological um, I'm a humanistic plus predictive astrologer evolutionary I believe in you know uh, karmic implications karmic lessons karmic debts and so forth and yeah all right well the phone lines are already jammed up so let's begin and again 902-405-6000 or 1-877-801-8255 Brian good morning to you hello how you doing today Brian awesome I need your birth time and your birth date please 25th of August 64 at 5 30 p.m. 5.30 5.30 p.m. And any particular question for Debbie here this morning? Uh, no, um, I'm a non-believer in this, but I want her to convert me. All right, uh, oh, Brian. You're so, uh, actually, I'm so happy that I'm not, I don't come from that frame of reference. Um, there's astrologers that do, and it's, uh, you know, that's their thing to work with. Um, but, yeah, I don't, uh, you know, yeah, it doesn't... Um, mean anything to me to convert anybody um it's uh, but looking at your chart um interesting you are certainly a very you know you're certainly pretty virgo ish um there's certainly a lot of intensity there um you know great um you know uh concentration when you're interested in something um it's something that is uh, uh you have been going through some you know kind of clarification in terms of friends and groups and that type of thing that's that's going on um it's a you you have this energy there where um you know money is certainly an important thing there can be some fear and wounds around money um you know that's an energy that you're you're to work with this lifetime um you have to be a little bit careful about your knees um you know your physical knees and it's um and i know that when you don't have order you can have this kind of free floating anxiety um so that's a, a little bit of what you're working with but it's kind of interesting because i feel that you you know and again i don't need you to do this it doesn't matter to me um is um you know i do see you exploring you know uh some different um you know whether it's psycho you know in-depth psychology or um you know i see you kind of exploring kind of deeper psychological issues over the next period of time and it's it's kind of it's uh, quite neat um one thing i'll quickly say is that um oh knees as well as kind of kidneys or urinary tract uh kind of stuff there um did you have any other specific questions? I know work is really important to you. And one of the things with work is that you do need, um, I like to look in terms of what do you need as far as career goes? Like what are your, you know, kind of like base or fun- foundational needs? And you do need a lot of intensity with work. If it isn't intense, you're not interested. How's that, Brian? Um, did you say punctuality? Um, no, no in- intensity. Intensity. Oh, intensity, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I'm actually retired from the Navy. Mm-hmm. So I spent 
spent time in the Navy. I was just wondering, um, how about this? Uh, I'll give you an example, and you tell me what I should do about it, okay? Sure. I, I have a boat, mm-hmm. a nice boat, and I'm thinking about selling it and buying a motorcycle and traveling around. On a motorcycle, what should I do? All oh, right, well, Brian, I oh, appreciate it. Thanks. One quick thing, too, if I can say, Brian, is uh, it's under you of Scorpio in the House of Career, and Scorpio does rule basically the Navy. Um, and it's, uh, you know, and I'm sure it had its own, you know, obvious, obvious intensity. Um, one quick thing, too, is that, um, you know, I, I know that you, um, while in the Navy, if somebody wasn't working or, or maybe being having an over casual attitude about the quality of their work, that would have really ticked you off. Um, it's it's, um, the boat is really interesting. I can see the... Um, you, have you been going through a little bit of insomnia? He's gone now. I, ah, yeah. shoot. Okay. But anyway, I yeah. think you provided yeah. some uh, good answers there. Uh, let's <laughs> go next to uh, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi there. How are you? Great. How are you guys? Uh, we're well, thank you. What's your birth date and time, please? My birth date is December 26th at 12.04 a.m. December 26th at 12... What year? 1970. 1970. All right. And and I'm sorry, the birth time was 12.06 a.m.? 12.04 a.m. Okay, perfect. And your question for Debbie this morning is what, Anna? Um, I don't have a specific question. I just want to see what she sees in my uh, astrological uh, forecast. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Debbie, what can you tell Anna here this morning? Interesting. Um, there is. Um, do you find that you've been going through a little anxiety around relationships? Pardon me? You've been going through some anxiety around relationships? Um, no. I don't think so. Okay, 1206. Where were you born, Anna? Uh, in here in Halifax. Okay. Um, it's something that is, um, um, you, you have this energy going through right now that um, you could have, um, um, how would I say it? Uh, I just almost like, I don't know if I call it depression, but just kind of like working with the mind a little bit more. Um, and that's a energy that's going through for until about January of this year. You do have to be a little extra mindful in terms of coals um, because you have something going through that anything would kind of dig in pretty deep in there. Um, have you thought of having your own business, Anna? Uh, yeah. Because that's a beautiful energy in your chart. And one of the reasons why it's so beautiful is that you have this bit of a protection around money. So you can take more risks than what you may think. Ah. Mm-hmm. It's a, but just don't overanalyze it. Um, it's something that is, uh, you know, I feel that you have all the ideas. All you have to do is start putting them into practice. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right. Appreciate it, Anna. Thanks for the call. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. Karen, good morning to you. Hi there. Hi, Karen. How are you doing this morning? Good. Your birth date and time, please. April 21st, 63. And I think it was around 3 a.m. 3 a.m. And a particular question for Debbie here this morning? Um, I'm just wondering, I've got a few things going on in my life right now, and I'm just wondering how they're going to turn out and if it's going to be some good outcomes in the things. All right. And uh, Debbie, what can you tell Karen here this morning? Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on uh, for sure. It's um, just I'm queuing you up here. It's... um, there you are. You're a new Taurus, actually, um, but your moon is in Pisces, which is very soft and sensitive and, um, you know, compassionate, but can be almost like over-compassionate in a sense. Um, it's, uh, is there any legal issue around you right now? Yeah. Yeah. That's been kind of stuck there for a while. Um, yeah. it's, uh, but you're tenacious. You know, you are a Taurus. That's one thing that you guys share in common. Your, your tribe is tenacity. Um, it's, um, it looks like there's kind of like good news, bad news in a sense. Um, it's something that is, uh, have, were you disappointed earlier in the year, like around February? Yes. Yeah, and it looked like you were having digestive issues at that time that, you know, obviously you check those things out with a doctor, but, um, you know, I feel it was more emotional than anything else. Um, there was just like deep, deep disappointment. Um, it's something that is, um, yeah, it doesn't, it look. It looks like where it is right now is where it's going to stay for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, um, just be a little bit, there's a little bit of uh, action actually coming up, um, I should say, right now-ish, um, and it's there until about the end of May. Um, a resolution at that time, you know, the resolution at that time is the best that you can do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and health-wise? Um, health-wise, your lower back, you know, is a, is a thing there. Um, have to, you know, certainly important for you to do some um, preventative things around arthritis, and as well that your adrenals can be a little bit rocky in there. Certainly good to check that out with a naturopath. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, sounds good. Thanks very much, Karen. Thanks. All right, bye bye. Ten sixteen is our time. Nine zero two four zero five six thousand or one eight seven seven eight zero one eight two five five. Kimberly, stay there. You're coming up next. We got Steve, Donna, Paul, Bob, Kara, and Dave on hold as well, and a couple of lines open as well here this morning at nine zero two four zero five six thousand or one eight seven seven eight zero one eight two five five. We're back to hear more from Debbie Young right after this quick break. This segment of the Rick Howe Show is brought to you by Colonial Honda, your Halifax Honda dealer. Call the doctor. Halifax has got the fever. Things are really heating up at Colonial Honda's Spring Fever Sales Event. For three days only, the hottest deals of the year on Colonial Honda's temperature-raising lineup of 2017 CRVs and Civics. The vehicle you've been dreaming about at the price you never thought possible. Have you got the fever? The Spring Fever Sales Event, this Thursday through Saturday, and only at Colonial Honda on Roby. Halifax's Honda dealer. SteelAuto.com Hiring is the most challenging part of my job. It's really hard. The searching, the sorting through resumes. Most people don't have the right experience. We started using ZipRecruiter about three months ago. Right from the start, you could tell it was going to make hiring a lot easier. One click and my job was posted to 200 plus job boards, all the top sites. All of the candidates came to my dashboard and it's easy to compare them. Thumbs up if I liked them, thumbs down if I didn't. No emails and attachments, printing up docs, phone calls, none of that. And I couldn't believe the number of great applicants we got. I had the person we needed within one week. I don't know how we hired before ZipRecruiter. Whether you're looking to fill one position or 20, find the best candidates with ZipRecruiter, where your job is just one click away from 200 plus job sites. ZipRecruiter, the fastest way to hire. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash CA. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash CA. ZipRecruiter.com slash CA. Texture is the app that gives me access to over 150 magazines so I can dive into the stories I love. I'm on a snowy morning commute, but I'm discovering a tropical oasis with National Geographic. I can rub shoulders with Hollywood's A-list when I read People magazine or catch up on the latest in business and innovation with Fast Company. With Texture, I've always got great stories to dive into. Subscribe and get your first 30 days free at texture.ca. Play ball! See the Blue Jays in Toronto every weekday on News 95.7. Listen for your chance to win a trip for two to Toronto and catch the Jays take on the Brewers in the 2017 home opener at Rogers Center. Batter up to first baseline tickets, return airfare, and accommodations at a downtown Toronto hotel. Keep listening. You could be off to see the Jays. From Wilson's Home Heating, your local heating experts for over 100 years, and Halifax's number one station for news, talk, sports, News 95. You're listening to The Rick Howe Show, where Halifax comes to talk. News 95.7. Now, here's Rick. It's 1019. It's a Thursday morning, and psychic astrologer Deborah Young is with me here this morning. And if you've, uh, well, wanted a little glimpse into your future, give us a call. And uh, let's see here, like uh, Kimberly has done this morning. Hi, Kimberly. Hi. How are you today? Oh, I'm okay. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. What's your birth date and time, please? Uh, my birth date is September the 13th, uh, 1953, and that was at uh, 4.14 a.m. in, in uh, Trenton, Ontario. All righty, and do you have a specific question you'd like to ask Debbie here this morning? Oh, just a simple one. Uh, my life seems to have imploded the past uh, several years, a massive changes, and I'm just wondering if my health is ever going to improve, uh, whether I'll find another career, uh, just uh, the, whole, <laughs> the whole enchilada. The whole enchilada. All right, uh, Debbie Young, what can you tell Kimberly here this morning? Yeah, it's been pretty frustrating uh, for sure. It's, um, you know, I can see a lot of the, it, 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 it seems that when, you know, it's any big changes in your life, they seem to kind of come at nowhere you know um and then just like everything um you you have been going through a little bit of depression lately which is understandable um you know that's a, it has a few little marks yet to go this year but then it'll it'll start to you know move away um have you thought about taking some courses because this is an excellent time to be taking uh some uh courses uh i have and um uh, just kind of saying goodbye to my previous career of nursing and, yeah. and uh, just wondering what, what where to stick my toe next. Uh, um. 
and, and you know Vir, uh, Virgos do so well in the healthcare industry you would have been an amazing nurse and um, combined with that your moon happens to be in Scorpio and um, you know so you could really deal with some pretty big big things you know kind of square on um, one quick thing as far as health goes you do have to be a little bit mindful as far as uh, your sugar levels go are you aware of that uh, my what level sugar sugar oh yeah, yes yeah mm-hmm. and as well uh, bowel and colon and lower back issues Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. Um, it's a, and the back is a little bit more, you know, certainly, you know, doing some, you know, yoga, you know, that kind of thing to keep moving your body because I can see your back kind of really acting up in the next bit of time. Um, mm-hmm. It has been. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of it looks like it's kind of making a home there. We don't want that to happen. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, again, it's a yeah. So you, you, you are somebody that needs to work in a sense, um, but not with the same intensity that you did with the nursing. Um, right. You know, right. that's right. doesn't right. that doesn't work for you. But I do see you taking some courses. And um, right now you have a beautiful energy going through that you'd be taking some things that you may not have thought of taken before and you'll do, you're very bright, um, you know, you, you'll do really well. You're attracting some good teachers too right now, so I really like that. Some good what? Teachers. Sorry, I didn't get that. Teachers. Teachers. Oh, t- teachers? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, don't blow uh, on. And no, one, one quick thing too is, um, you know, I do see you kind of clearing out things, getting rid of things, and you'll feel really good with that. Um, you know, just you're, you're, the urge to purge is going to be there. Do watch some water problems in your house, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just as far as uh, I was thinking about doing food handling. Uh, mm-hmm. And... Um, and uh, um, You'd be very good uh, as a food inspector because you have this laser focus to see, you know, what is wrong. And mm-hmm. it's, um, I can see you developing your own kind of business in there, um, which you would, you would very much enjoy. All right. Okay. Thank- well, thanks, thanks very much, uh, Deborah. Oh, thanks, you're welcome, Kim. Yeah. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Steve, good morning. Good morning, Debbie and Rick. How are you guys today? We are fine. Thank you very much. Your birth date and your time, please. June 15th, 85, at 4.50 in the afternoon. 4.50. And any particular question you uh, would like to uh, inquire to, Debbie? I guess uh, just career and family and finances. All right. Uh, oh, just a few things. Just a few things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's only important uh, things in life. So, Steve, uh, June 15th, 1984? 85. 85. Or, uh, 85. I kind of thought I heard that wrong. Um, I was uh, saying to Rick during the break that um, we do have a phenomena right now going on. Happens three times a year for about three weeks um, at its most uh, potent, where the planet Mercury, which rules communications, uh, goes retrograde. So all kinds of snafus with communication, um, you know, tech issues, um, you know, miscommunication, missed emails, missed text messages, all that kind of thing. It's officially doesn't start to April 8th, but we have seen it kind of playing out now. Now, and it's uh, there officially till May 4th, but there's a shadow cycle that extends it to May 20th. So just wanted to kind of get that in there. Um, it doesn't necessarily change life, although I've, unless there's, you know, linked into other bigger changes that show in your chart. Um, but I'm just going to have a peek there. You have been going through some frustration the last bit of time. Do you see that? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and it's just, you know, it's just kind of like holding you, you know, there. Oh, look at you. Uh, you're a very interesting Gemini. Um, you're Scorpio rising. It's uh, one of the things that you need, as saying, you know, at the very beginning of the program, that I like to look at what, what are your essential needs with career? You know, it, it's not like you have to just go out and do what you need to do. Like, what do you need? And you do need to take pride in what you do. That's, a, that's kind of a, a real thing there, that if you don't feel a sense of pride with who you're working for, then it's really probably not going to work very well for you. Um, you are going to have your own business, though. Have you thought about that? I have, yeah. And it's 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 interesting because um, right now you're going through is kind of like clarification in terms of okay, what are your values? What is it that you want to do? And some of it would relate to kind of uh, you know our our current world. In other words, that um, you know you'd be doing something that fits our needs now. Um, it may not have worked 10 years ago, for example, but just kind of with changing uh, situations, it would work now. And it's, um, you know, so I, I see you doing very well with that. There's a few little delays, and I, you know, which are frustrating, but it's something that, you know, those delays are not going to last. There you go, Steve. Great. Thank you. I appreciate the call. Thanks very much. And we've got uh, Donna on the line with us now. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Rick and how, Deborah. How are you today? Good, thank you. And give us your um, birth date and time, please. I don't know my time, but my birth date is January 17th, 1949. 1949. And do you have a particular question for Debbie here this morning? Family, health, and money. Family, health, and money. 
<laughs> Big three. Yes, indeed. Debbie, what can you tell Donna? Well, as a Capricorn, you do have to be mindful of uh, arthritis um, and knees. Capricorns have these wonky old knees and necks. Um, it's. Um, have you had low iron in the past? Not that I know of. Okay, just a, it's just kind of a little thing there. You can certainly have a slow digestion, and with that, it's just good to eat small amounts often rather than the big meals. Um, and dry eyes are a bit of an issue in there as well. Um, oh, do, yes. do you keep a good check on your eyes? Oh yes, I do, and I have dry eyes. Yeah, uh, which apparently is quite a pain. You know, it's it's uh, you know, if all the things yeah. that are wrong with my eyes, at least I don't have that. Mm. Um, you know, it's yeah. um, and also just a little bit of colon issues in your family. Do you know about those? Um, a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's just, you know, it's just, what, right now. yeah, what it, what, it, what it says basically is just that, okay, that needs care, you know, okay. um, and I believe that anything that goes so-called wrong with the body is a sign of some emotional, psychological, spiritual issue that hasn't been quite resolved. So, um, you know, that's a, a thing there. Um, uh, what was your other question? I'm sorry, family? Family, life, and yeah. uh, finances. Finances, family, health, and money. <laughs> right. Um. You, you, the the I don't see any big changes around you financially. Um. It's something that you've always been pretty careful around money. Um. And I feel that was you know how you were brought up basically, and you've never kind of left those lessons behind you. Um. So that's you know that that's there. Um. Family, there is. Is there somebody moving away soon? I have a daughter that lives away. Yeah. It's um that's sad. Um, it's, yeah, um, it is. Yeah, uh, but it's you know it looks like she needs to for work uh, to have meaningful work and and so that's that's just where she is. Um, yeah. There, there you go. go. All right, Donna. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. Appreciate it. All right. Bye bye. Ten twenty eight is our time right now. Debbie Young is with me in the studio here till eleven o'clock. A psychic astrologer and. If you've got a question for Debbie, give us a call at 902-405-6000 or 1-877-801-8255. We've got a number of people on hold. A couple of lines are open as well, but we do have to take a quick break for news update. Back with more with a, a psychic astrologer, Deborah Young, right after the news. And that is coming up next. You're listening to The Rick Howe Show on News 95.7. Rick will be back in a moment. Buying a car shouldn't be burdensome, and it absolutely should never be stressful. Buying a car should be an experience. Independently owned since 1987, Atlantic Acura continues to build relationships with Nova Scotia drivers. One dealer, one goal, to provide you with the ultimate car buying experience. It starts with premium vehicles featuring top safety ratings, class-leading fuel economy, and high resale values. Visit Atlantic Acura today and start your experience. It has to be Acura. 30 Bedford Highway. The QE2 Home Lottery bonus prize deadline is midnight tomorrow. Four winners will enjoy a seven-night private island adventure in the Bahamas. Explore Andros Island, the untouched jewel of the Bahamas. Diving, secluded beaches, it's a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. Plus, be in to win our biggest early bird prize ever, an Ocean View Cottage in Chester Basin, and the million-dollar grand prize show home on Boscobel on the Arm. Bonus prize deadline midnight tomorrow. Order now at QE2HomeLottery.com. Warm up to winter fitness at Tara McDonald Fit Club. Now open at their bright new location at 133 Baker Drive in Dartmouth. Sign up today for their fantastic new group fitness classes and be sure to register now for Soul Sisters Women's Race in June. It's a blast. Tara McDonald Personal Training Studio would like to thank their sponsors, GrowPro.ca, One Call Paving, and Souls in Motion. Visit TaraMcDonaldFitClub.com today. Proud gold sponsor of the Soul Sisters Women's Race. Give your child the best start at Creative Kids in Hammonds Plains. Creative Kids is a one-of-a-kind facility where children learn and grow through active participation, featuring a large, bright indoor space with gymnasium, a common area with kitchen, and a huge natural outdoor environment, offering preschool as well as before and after school programs. Drop in and meet proud founders Pam and Graham and see it for yourself. Creative Kids Education Center, 109 White Hills Run in Hammonds Plains. Find out more at creativekids.info. Number one for news in Halifax. This is News 95.7. It's Thursday, April 6th. Good morning. I'm Shelley Summers with a 95 Second News Update. Here's what's making news this hour. An affidavit released by an Ottawa court reveals why Canada's second highest ranking military officer was suspended back in January. The affidavit shows that while no charges have been laid, the RCMP suspect, suspect rather, Vice Admiral 
Mark Norman of leaking secret government documents. Those reports are allegedly related to a $700 million contract awarded without a competition in 2015 by the Conservative government to Quebec City shipyard Chantier Davy. The Liberals had quietly considered cancelling the contract after taking power but decided to move ahead after documents leaked to the media revealed that the government would have to pay Davy $89 million if it was cancelled. Back here at home, with patios forced to close this summer in the Argyle Street area because of the upcoming street skate project. Some businesses are nervous about the potential impact and wonder why the work couldn't be done later in the season. Mayor Mike Savage telling the Rick Howe show there's a possibility patios could be open this spring before work starts. And then ideally we'd like to have it done so folks can still have decks, uh, you know, in for, for, for most of the fall. Uh, and possibly to see even if there's any opportunity, I don't know if there is yet, but we've asked for some information on this, to see if there's an opportunity to have decks uh, even in uh, uh, late April or May before the work begins. Mayor Savage says once the Nova Centre opens next year, events that had not previously been held in Halifax will be bringing visitors that have never been here before and says it's another reason why the streetscape project needs to be completed now. And it appears repeatedly losing and regaining weight may be dangerous for overweight heart patients. A new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found heart attacks, strokes and death were more common in patients whose weight changed the most over four years. For some patients, weight changes might have reflected yo-yo dieting, which previous studies have suggested may be unhealthy for people without heart problems. That means a hefty but stable weight might be healthier than losing and repeatedly regaining extra pounds. News 95.7 time, 1032. Right now in downtown Halifax, it's two degrees. At the airport, it's three. I'm Shelley Summers, and for more news, follow us on Twitter or at news957.com. Stay up to date. This is the Rick House Show on Halifax's number one station for news, talk, sports. News 95.7. Coming up now to 1033. It's a Thursday morning with me in the studio here till 11. This morning is psychic astrologer Debbie Young. And again, all we need you to do is give us a call at 902-405-6000 or 1-877-801-8255. Tell us your birth date and time of birth and ask a question of Debbie here. And Kara is on the line with us now. Good morning, Kara. Morning. How are you today? Not too bad. Good. And your birth date and time of birth, please. Uh, October 29th, 79. I do believe it was 12.06 a.m. 12.06 a.m. And do you have a question for Debbie? Uh, I guess career, finance. All right. Uh, Debbie, what can you tell Kara this morning about her career and finances? Wow, that's uh, pretty interesting in there. Um, of course, you know, Scorpios have this uh, intensity, which I'm sure, you know, you're well aware of. It's um, just queuing you up here. It's... Um, there you are. Um, it is really important for you to have a regular kind of schedule. Do you know what? Do, do you know what? You, do, do you know what I mean by that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people that are born in, in 1970, well, 78 and 79, um, they have this energy that you know if they don't have kind of, and it doesn't have to be a rigid schedule. Uh, there's enough rigidity in the world right now, but um, you know, just kind of like taking care of the body, having a reasonable schedule. Um, if not, there can be this real free floating anxiety that comes up. Um, so that's a, a really important. You're going through some major changes with work. Um, it's um, you have to be a little mindful that you're not in a situation where there's kind of a bullying atmosphere there. Um, mm-hmm. It's um, so that you have to be just really mindful of that. Um, you know, alert to that. It's just kind of moving into that particular area, and it's going to be there for a while. So your whole idea for you know meaningful work is going to go through a big, big, big transformation. Um, you there is a healing aspect to your um, in terms of career. Does that make sense to you yet? I'm right now. I'm in home care. Yeah, and that's healing. Um, you know, it's something that you know. It, I find that people don't um, you know elevate themselves enough oftentimes um you know that that that's that's powerful that's important work that you're doing um and it's something that is um you know that the healing aspect is there i can see you taking some other courses that will advance your healing skills uh i was uh considering taking uh lpn (laughs) you'll you'll do fantastic with it um you know it's it's interesting too um you know there's a psychological component in your chart i know you have some mental anxiety um but you do very well working with people that have uh, that struggle with um, mental health issues. Okay. You, you'd, really, you'd do very well with that. Um, you're a lot smarter than what you think. I know you have some trauma from childhood that I feel has kind of blocked or prevented you from going further, but you know, um, you know, you're off to the races now. All right. 
Thank you, Kara. Oh. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. So long. Let's go next to uh, Bob here this morning. Hi, Bob. How are you doing? Doing well. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Debbie. Uh, I'm excited about getting an answer. And, Rick, uh, I talk to you all the time. You do. What's your birth date and time of birth there, Bob? And I don't want you to tell anybody. I will. We won't tell us all. October 26, 1945, and I was born in a snowstorm in Ontario between 6 and 6.30 in the morning. All righty. And do you have a particular question for Debbie here this morning? Debbie, uh, what interest is uh, I'm interested in both, I should say. Um, I went through some medical problems for the last seven years. Mm Mm-hmm. And something strange is happening to me because I want to get back into business and a career. And for some reason, in the last two months, everything I touch, uh, I'm a winner. So you want to know what, Bob? Your outcome for your health? Well, is it my health and I'm changing because of my age and I'm looking at things differently and and I'm looking at a career. In fact, I've had a few offers. And I'm seriously looking at it, and I'm not sure if it's, it, should I just take care of my health? My health seems to be, I take it day by day, but mm-hmm. my right. energy wants to get out there and do something. Well, let's hear what Debbie has to say. Bob, thank you. So thank just you. to clarify, Bob, you're born October 26, 1945? Yes. And there was an early snowstorm when you were born? Okay. Um, it's, uh, um, it's, it's interesting, Bob. You have an energy pattern that is similar to mine where, you know, we're kind of workaholics. Um, and it's not always a good thing, of course. Um, it's that kind of real workaholic energy. Um, you, you know, there is a, there's many different, you know, energy patterns and energies in anyone, any one person's chart. And you have one that is, um, there is one particular energy that all of us are t- to, to cultivate. And, but we, we're drawn into the neurotic patterns of the other energy. And it's, um, there's no doubt that you would receive a number of offers because, because people intuit that you would, you know, that you would be, you'd work like crazy. Um, pe- people know that about you. Um, and that you would care about doing a good job. You take pride in what you do. Um, but the one energy that you're to cultivate, and I feel this is where things are kind of going for you, and I would, wouldn't put it to age, is that, you know, you're to kind of cultivate, um, you know, kind of self-care and being kind to yourself and being compassionate with yourself um, and extending that compassion out to other people. In other words, being, you know, more sensitive. I'd like to see you cooking in the kitchen, for example, um, th- those kind of, um, you know, soft nurturing energies. And I know that's not where you're coming from, but that's kind of one of one of your, one of the things that you're to uh, cultivate this lifetime. Bob, yeah, there you- well, what, one thing about the sensitivity, mm-hmm. I become more sensitive than I've ever been in my life, but it, I also take the devil's advocate first, and then then I have my tears or my joy of uh, energy. The, the Yeah, the, you know, I can see you are, in a sense, kind of a warrior. You would have made a good lawyer in a way, um, you know, but it, but it's, um, you know, the, the sensitivity is, is, is where the gold is right now for you, Bob, um, that, that kind of developing that, you know, that soft, nurturing, you know, vulnerable energy. And, you know, the thing of it is that one energy that we're to, you know, cultivate is, um, it's where the treasure is, you know, it's, it's, it's where the treasure is. I can see you've gone through this big seismic shift in there. And one last thing I'll say, because I know that there's people kind of banging on the door, um, is that, you know, it does look as though you've had this, that you're um, not confident with your body any longer, um, that you don't trust your body to kind of carry you forward. And I'd like you to to kind of like work with that a little bit. Certainly important for you to be outside. And actually, you know, I'd like to see you do some swimming. Um, but it's, uh, and actually some yoga. Um, you know, that's a, a actually a really great discipline for you, because there's a lot of tightness in your body, and you don't trust your body. I want you to trust your body a bit more. There you go, last Bob. Thir- uh, last Thursday, last Thursday, I joined the health club here in Dartmouth. Good for you. Awesome, Bob. I got to run to other callers. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye bye. Uh, Mountain Man just, by the way, tweets. Uh, Can you ask Debbie when will summer come? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can, when will summer come, Debbie? The next new moon. Yeah. Um, and when, when is that? Um, well, we're coming up for full moon, yep. and of course, everyone can expect uh, you know some restless nights, uh, crazy dreams. You know, all the emotions are amplified near a full moon. It's how it goes. Um, we're more affected by weather because we live in the ocean. The moon rules the oceans. Um, you know, near a full moon, and it's interesting. The the last new moon, um, whatever you know, it's been said that whatever the weather is on a new moon, then we're going to 
you experience that kind of weather for, you know, until the full moon. And it said, sure enough, it was exactly, you know, kind of this, the weather that we're looking at, you know, today. Yeah. Um, and the next new moon is going to be, um, I think, around April 26th. All right. So. Yeah. All right, that's uh, yeah. we're over the hump then by April 26th. April 26th. All right, I'm going to hold you to that now. Okay. I know where you live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1041 is the time, and uh, who have we got next year? Jenny, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning, Jenny? I'm very good, thank you. Good. What's your birth date and time of birth, please? It's May 14, 1956, but I don't know the time. All right, May 14, 1956. Not sure of the time. And your question, uh, Jenny? My question is this. I have been trying to move um, back home for a little while now, and I believe it'll happen this year. So I'm kind of wondering when it'll happen, where I'll go, and kind of the circumstances around it, and maybe anything I should know about it. All right. And Debbie, Mm -hmm. what can you tell Jenny here this morning? Gosh, um, you know, your birthday's close to Rick's. I know. I think his birthday's May 12th, is it? Same day. Same day, May 14th. Different year. (gasps) Oh, (laughs) you're in bad company. Um, (laughs) Or good good company. Good company. It's um yeah it's it's you know your your moon is in Cancer same as mine and like home is so important and where's my home is is almost like this very sensitive almost like a little fragile energy and I can see where it's been you know a struggle um, there is a time you know it doesn't um, it depends it, it's it's quite sensitive to birth time which we don't have for you um it's um if you were born say early morning then you know it didn't look as though that would happen until uh, next year 2008 uh, to that yeah 2018 um i can see some indecision too around like where to live um normally you know you're not that indecisive um so it's a you know it's a tricky thing but i know that you know if you're born anytime from midnight may 14th through to say midnight to, or close to midnight the uh, uh, the uh, same day um, that it will be in it doesn't look like it would be until 2018 okay yeah it's um and any place that would may come up before would have to be kind of a transitional place um you know there's um one of the practical applications of astrology is um you know uh elect- electional astrology and there's certain times that'll come up that it's an, you know more auspicious time to to move or buy a car or you know those kind of like practical things uh practical aspects of life Right. Well, that's what I'm thinking is when I do move, it will be transitional. It, but a, then a transitional is actually a kind of like transitional for you right now, um, because this is a, such a feeling energy for you. And, um, you know, it comes up to the surface where everything kind of comes together in 2018 as far as a permanent home goes. But do you see um, a move this year, though, into that transitional? I can see, yes, I could see, a, I would say it would be in July, um, oh. you know. It's, um, you know, in July, things get heated up for you then. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for the call, Jenny. Thank you. All righty. Bye-bye. It is 1044. Dave, stay there. You're coming up next. We've got lots of people on hold as well, and a couple of lines are open, too, if you want to try to get in and... Give a, a, ask a, Debbie a question, 902-405-6000 or 1-877-801-8255. Back with more with psychic astrologer Debbie Young right after this quick break. You're listening to The Rick Howe Show, where Halifax comes to talk. News 95.7. Rick will be back in a moment. NovaScotiaJobShop.ca salutes the employee of the month, the one employee you can't live without. The others, let's just call them Dave. What are you doing, Dave? We need help with payroll. I'm not doing squats, Mr. Employee of the Month. I'm taking your advice and I'm working my butt off. That's not what I meant. Glutes of steel. Feel them. Right here. Ah, oh, Dave. Now I have to call HR. We believe local businesses should be packed with more local employees of the month and fewer Daves. We make it easy to post a job, and it's local so you won't get spammed by faraway job seekers. NovaScotiaJobShop.ca Local jobs that work. The incomparable Michael Bublé. His new album, Nobody But Me. Someday, maybe, when we're old and gray, we could be in love for small. Michael Bublé's latest, Nobody But Me, featuring Sunday with Megan Trainer and the new single, I Believe in You. I believe in starting over. I can see that your heart is true. Michael Buble, Nobody But Me. Available now. 
Oh, what an amazing play. The Subaru is making its way down the ice. Wow, would you look at that confidence and agility, Ted. Remarkable stuff, Jerry. With its symmetrical full-time all-wheel drive, you can tell the Subaru was just plain built for this. Holy guacamole! Have you ever seen that kind of control? Hang on, Jerry. He's turning onto the street, passing by his neighbor's car, pulling him in his car! See the exciting lineup of all-wheel drive Subarus at Steel Subaru, 3737 Kempt Road in Halifax. Hi, I'm Catherine Campbell from the Berkeley Retirement Residences. No matter what time of year, living at the Berkeley allows you to enjoy the simple pleasures of life. Have a lively conversation with friends, join exercise class, enjoy live entertainment, or sit and relax in the privacy of your own apartment. It's your choice. When you're at the Berkeley, you're at home. For more information about all of the benefits of retirement living, go to theberkeley.com. The Berkeley. Love where you live. Next time on the Sheldon McLeod Show. Imagine your daughter going through a year of cancer treatment before she even turns 10. This week, Haley Rodenizer got to ring the bell at the cancer clinic in Bridgewater. We'll hear who sent along best wishes to the family. Also, reuniting people with their memories from a Truro photographer, cavities and kids, and a filmmaker, calling out MLAs over welfare and hunger. And we hear from the creator and the hand behind Ed the Sock, Stephen Kersner. Join us for the Sheldon McLeod Show, weekdays from 1230 to 330 on News 95.7. You're listening to The Rick Howe Show, where Halifax comes to talk. News 95.7. Now, here's Rick. 1047. So Thursday morning, let's go right back to the phones where Dave's been patiently waiting with a uh, question for Debbie here this morning. Dave, good morning. What's your birth date and time, please? Yeah, birth date, April 2nd, 1951, and the time I'm not too sure of. All right, and do you have a particular question for Debbie? Yeah, well, this family health and finance, please. All right, family health and finance for Dave here this morning. Debbie, mm-hmm. what can you tell him? You have been through a lot the last few years, Dave. Do you recognize that? Oh, yes. It's been a real kind of rite of passage. Um, You know, fortunately, you're kind of coming out of that a little bit. But um, you could find yourself, you know, you could find yourself, um, you know, kind of like easily irritated. It's almost like maybe you held anger in and now it's kind of coming out a little bit. Um, You know, so, you know, just allow space for that. Certainly good to be doing something physical that you can kind of use your body as a tool to discharge this kind of like, you know, anxious energy. Um, And, you know, it's something that is, have you have ever had a concussion? Uh, I could have, but I had uh, um, a disectomy and a spinal fusion. Ew, yikes. Um, so just, you know, just be as mindful as you can as far as like, because uh, you can go too fast at times. And, um, you know, just be as mindful as you can as far as any kind of potential for uh, concussion. Um, it's, um, and I'm sorry, what was your question again? Finances. Uh, oh, finances. Um, let me see about finances here. Um, you know, it's. I feel that you're on a pretty good track finan- uh, financially. Um, you know, you're you're kind of um, uh, resurrecting, or what's the, another word I'm looking for? Um, kind of coming back on track. And, um, you know, that's good. It's, um, you know, there's a nice kind of, um, uh, oh, yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, no, you're, you're, in a, you're, you're in a good cycle financially. Good. I, yeah. I out. yeah. And um, there's some kind of exciting things happening in the family, too. It's, it's, um, are we expecting a new grandchild? No, no. Not that you know of, anyway. No. Yeah, that's true. I got, I got four boys. I, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Um, it's a, but yeah, there, there's some exciting things in the family, um, you know, new jobs, and, you know, so, so, so there's some good things happening. Yes. Well, we just kind of reunited there about two months ago mm-hmm. it's yeah. it, it, it's a beautiful energy it's um you know there's a, a lot of um uh kind of um, you know rediscovering each other and it's it's uh it's it's very very nice i really like that um it, you're getting to know each other in in a you know just a really nice way good 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 yeah all right dave thanks for the call and thank you sir you have a good day you too bye-bye nancy good morning to you hello nancy Oh, good morning, Rick and Debbie. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Your birth date and time of birth, please. Okay. It was September 21st, 1965, at 8.25 a.m. 8.25 a.m. And a particular question for Debbie this morning? 
Yeah, I just uh, wondered if she had any advice for me as I run my businesses and, of course, advice on family relationships. All right. Business and family. Mm -hmm. Uh, Debbie, what can you tell Nancy here this morning? Well, you're born the same day as uh, my son. He's... um, Mm -hmm. Uh, September 21st. Um, he has a great sense of humor and, and work is very important. A meaningful work is important for everybody, but for, for Virgos, it's really an essential, um, you know, really a, a big important thing. Um, it's, um, oh, the business looks like it's going well. Um, there's a nice energy that begins. Um, there's an energy that rules, you know, kind of expansion and, um, you know, optimism and confidence that begins to enter into your house of money. Um, you know, that would be around the first part of November. And it'll for about a year um so there's kind of extra confidence as far as uh, as far as money goes um it's something that one of the things that you have to watch a little bit is that you um you know that you don't um uh, sometimes you don't take the details into account um do you see what i mean with that i might take too many details into account sometimes too that's true you can and then that can that can kind of weigh you down you get too concerned with the minutia um, and you lose the big picture um, so that's something just to kind of check in with um, but it's a uh, it looks really good um it, it's um you know there there were you a little bit frustrated back in February March well I'm frustrated a lot with this. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> try to lose that, uh, Nancy. Try to lose that. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't serve you. But um, it's a. Uh, it's a little bit more of that. It's a particular energy that you're to work with. You know, to kind of lose that. You have to be careful that you don't compare yourself to other people. You know, and because uh, that definitely doesn't work for you. But it's um, so. There's a few little things like that coming around. Um, you know, this year, like June would be one point, and then um, let me see, uh, December would be another point. But then you're kind of through through this uh, through this whole thing okay. uh, as far as family goes has there been any kind of big power struggle coming up in your come up in your family lately is there a what power struggle what? coming up in your family a power struggle yes yeah um yeah you know yeah try try to stay out of that because if your birth time is accurate you could get pulled into conflict um and then you're kind of caught there so try to be mindful of not getting caught in that Okay. All right. Thanks, Nancy. Great advice. Thanks a lot. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, let's see. Who have I got next? Uh, Ron is on the line here this morning. Hi, Ron. Uh, how you doing? Good morning. Uh, good morning to you. Your birth date and time of birth, please. Uh, the 17th of October, 1961, and I was born approximately around 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And a particular yeah. question for Debbie here this morning? Uh, yeah, I'm sort of at a crossroads. I uh, want to switch jobs. It's, it's it's the same field of work, and I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, what about his job prospects and mm-hmm. his uh, desire to um, switch jobs here? That's uh, that's actually good. I was a little concerned when you gave me your birth, um, you know, date. It's, um, you know, there's a, a lot, a lot of changes around. And sometimes when there's this particular energy that's happening, which is only a kind of a once a lifetime deal, it's kind of good to stay, stay the course. Um, there's too many variables and unknowns. Um, but th- there is a nice energy going through as far as like work opportunities go. Um, you know, that's in play. Um, it's interesting. It's in play until about November of this year um, so and it's also protective energy too that if I said Ron come and work for me and then I changed my mind it's a good thing I didn't hire you so to speak mm. um, so that's uh, that's good you've certainly had some difficulty in the past as far as bosses go do you see that yeah and it's a it's it's a, it's a whole thing in there um, you know important to release any kind of resentment around that um, you know about authority so to speak uh, it doesn't serve you you know uh, at all um, so releasing that um, you're a little bit prone to some blood pressure issues do you know that some blood pressure issues yeah not not that I know of <laughs> yeah I would keep a I keep a good check on that one nice thing too about this one energy is that you would attract good healers right now so you know whether it's a new doctor um, so good to check that out as well as keeping good kidney health as well um, you know not not be uh, taking like ibuprofen you know any anti-inflammatories that kind of thing it's look it looks like it's a stressor okay yeah all right Ron Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And let's see, who have I got next? It is uh, Mary. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. How are you this morning? Just great, thanks. Your birth date and time of birth, if you can, please. Yes, uh, May 15th of 52, and uh, pretty close around 9 p.m. 9 p.m. And a particular question for Debbie here this morning? 
Pardon me? Do you have a particular question for oh, Debbie? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, just kind of wondering, uh, uh, retired in the past few years, uh, um, enjoying my retirement, but a little bit lost, like want something to fill in the gap a bit, um, not quite sure what, you know, and uh, uh, just wondering if you have any ideas on that and also on uh, health issues. I uh, have a concern about inherited health issues. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, you All know, right. longevity. Mm-hmm. Well, let's hear what Debbie has to say. Well, as I say, you know, you Taurus are hard to kill. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you're, t- you're tough. Um, so um, it's, it's it, you know, Obviously, it's important to look at genetic markers for, for you know, health issues. Um, but uh, Tauruses can get a little bit caught up in that. And I can see that maybe you are a little bit too much. Um, it's something that is, um, you do have to, you have a, a pattern there. You'd want to be mindful in terms of sugar levels. You know, that's there. Um, there can be some irritation around bowel at different times. Um, you know, that kind of thing. But it's, uh, but you, you actually look really good. Um, you know, really good. So I, I wouldn't be overly concerned. Um, there is is um, you'd want to watch yourself later next week as far as like any kind of like uh, little injuries go, but I feel that they'd be they'd be minor. Um, it's something that is um, it's interesting. Like as far as your you know work goes, it was you know I can see what kind of a worker you were. Um, oh, one thing I do see you also kind of getting rid of things, throwing out things. Have you thought about doing that? I'm sorry, getting throwing out things, getting rid of things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a. It's you're in that mood for the next little bit of time, and also don't be surprised if you have some really strong kind of intuitive energies come up. There's like a little psychic energy that's you know kind of coming up here. Um, so don't be surprised about that. That's a kind of a big energy. I do see you doing some traveling. Um, there's almost like an invitation to travel with some friends. I do see you joining a group that seems to be very meaningful. Um, and it's a time of kind of expansion, social circle and friends. And that does seem to be very, very meaningful for you. Yes, yes, that is for sure. Yeah. There's more of that to come. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, could I just slip in financially, or is it? Just... Yeah, we got a couple of seconds left here. Quick uh... Uh, financially, I don't see any change there. It's um, you know, I don't see any change. There is um, you have almost like a bit of a wounding energy around money, um, but it's um, you know, I don't see any significant change. You know, you look good. Um, you know, there doesn't look to be any upsets around that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the call, okay. Mary. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Take care now. Sorry we couldn't get to everybody. We could go on for another couple of hours here. <laughs> Seriously. But uh, time is up. And Debbie, you've got a, a workshop you want to tell us about if people yes. are interested. Yeah. Uh, April 22nd. It's an all-day workshop. It's on uh, spiritual history Okay. Uh, where we explore, you know, the karmic lessons that you've come into this lifetime with, some karmic debts. Um, I do hypnosis and take people into other lifetimes. So there'll be three or four sessions of uh, doing actual past life progressions and I come from the viewpoint that you know each lifetime we kind of co-create you know this this kind of situation yeah. and that we're um, the more that we learn about maybe our past we can see how we're sometimes recreating uh, problems that we really don't need to recreate and getting a viewpoint on that or more illumination around that is very very helpful so can people just go to your website to register or find out more information anyway yeah they can go to the website uh, debryoungastrology.com Deborah Young Astrology, D E B R A O R A H. Oh, okay, D E B O R A H Young dot com. Yeah, Deborah Young Astrology dot com. Deborah Young Astrology. I got to write this down here. Okay. Astrology dot com. And uh, that's where they can find out more about this workshop and other things. And other workshops planned. as well. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right, Debbie, it's again a pleasure to see you again. And it was a busy hour and it kept you going. Good workout. Indeed. Appreciate that. Thanks very much. Thank you. It's. Uh,